Hi everyone. I hope you have been following the series of videos I have been making on different experimental designs. In this regard, in today's video, I am going to be talking about uh, the third and the final pre-experimental design, which is called a static group comparison. Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, the links are in the description section below. But uh, basically, research designs can be classified under five general categories. That is pre-experimental designs, true experimental designs, quasi-experimental designs, ex post facto designs, and factorial designs. Today's video is the third video in the series, and it talks about a pre-experimental design. And with the use of example, I hope it will uh, be good for your understanding. So in uh, today's uh, design, which is called the static group comparison, this static group comparison involves both uh, experimental group as well as a control group. So what you see on your screens is the form that the design takes. So the experimental group is exposed to a particular experimental treatment. So the experimental group is group one, of course, and it is exposed to a particular experimental treatment. And uh, the control group is not, which is group two. So group two is control group. It is not exposed to the treatment. And after the treatment, both groups are observed and their performance is compared. In this design, however, no attempt is made to obtain equivalent groups or even to examine the groups to determine whether they are similar before the treatment. Thus, if you adopt this approach, you will have no way of knowing if the treatment actually caused any observed differences between the groups. So let's take an example of what I mean. So let's say one group was not given a, a drug. So they no, was not given a drug and the other group was given a drug. All right. And this group and this drug was to see if the drug lowers the blood pressure or not. All right. So we took groups of two people. One group was not given a drug that lowers the blood pressure and the other group was given the drug that lowers the blood pressure. And after the treatment is given to the group one and treatment is not administered on group two, they are both then checked for the impact of the treatment. So we checked for the impact of treatment observed on group one and uh, the group two actually does not get the treatment so basically we don't observe them before the treatment we only observe them after the treatment so we take two groups of people and the the only problem is that no attempt is made to obtain equivalent groups so we don't know whether the two groups had people with similar blood pressures or not but we administer the treatment to one group and we don't administer the group admit the treatment to the other group but we see whether group one has a lower blood pressure as compared to the initial observation after the treatment. So again, these are pre-experimental designs. These designs are only adopted to maybe test a hypothesis, maybe just get an idea of whether there is a research problem or not, whether this, this experiment will work uh, under controlled conditions. So this is just to test out a theory. It is not to actually conduct an experiment and publish findings. It's just to test out a theory and then probably do a more controlled design um, as you have further ideas about how to refine your research. So if you are thinking that if this research has no rigor or if this research has no um, uh, significance, then why did we, why should we adopt this design? So this design is adopted only to test out a theory or to test out a treatment or to test out a hypothesis before the actual hypothesis is formulated. All right, so I will see you soon with my next video, which will discuss a new design. I have discussed three designs under the pre-experimental category and now I will start with the true experimental designs and the first video will discuss the pre-test post-test control group design. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you soon with my next video. Bye for now.